Tony, listen up. I want you to what? stay cool today, all right? Oh, okay. Don't worry, Professor. Right, I got yeah, this. I know, I know you got this. Uh, all right. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah of course. Let's, Let's get it. Let's get it. Ah. Is it worth it to buy Outriders? Today Tony and I are gonna talk about Outriders which came out first of April. We both played the game and we are excited to share our experience with you. So if this is your question or you want some information about this game before buying it, you gotta watch this video. Yeah, Outriders is a cool game and we're gonna tell you everything that you need to know about, you know, it's an unfortunate I'm sitting next to this dumbass. <laughs> Tony, stop it dude, come on, we haven't even started. Oh, check out my cool t-shirt! Okay, I can do okay, that. Okay, all right, okay. All right, really quick, let me tell you what you're about to see in this video. First, we'll see what kind of game Outriders is, and we'll talk about the story a little, but we won't spoil it. So, don't worry. We're gonna go into some details about the gameplay, and at the end, we will answer matter. the main question. Is it worth it to buy Outriders or not? Which will be a personal opinion. You are in charge of your money. Uh, we are here to just help you. Yeah, before we get started, Professor, this Instagram is gonna be up here. Go ahead and give it a follow. I know you're watching it because of me. <laughs> and uh, if you're a subscriber, go ahead and like this video. And if you're not, what's okay. up and Buckle up and let's yeah. get started. Okay, let me tell you everything that you need to know. I bought it. It's an awesome game, man. I'm sure you'll love it. But <laughs> it's a bit expensive. End of story. Like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment uh, down below. Come on, it's dude. We're game. supposed to give some information about the game and let people decide. Let's just take it slow and talk about the game. How about yeah, that? A lot to say. Okay, okay. cool. As I mentioned, Outriders came out first of April, and apparently many gamers are liking it so far. I've seen many gameplays on YouTube, and I see a lot of random daily posts on social media. This game is getting popular, I guess. Yeah, I think we talked about it in the update. Yeah, yeah, in the last episode. It was about upcoming video games in uh, April 2021. I'm gonna put a link up here, you guys, if you want. You can go ahead and check it out. Also, I want to take a quick moment to thank you all. We got 2,800 wow. views in episode 15. It's unbelievable. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. That's insane, isn't it? Huh. Yeah, I know. It is oh, insane. Yeah, yeah, and we got 210 subscribers. Now we have 339 subscribers. Oh, cool. Thank you guys so much and welcome to the channel. Okay, let's go back to the topic. Outriders has been developed by People Can Fly and published by Square Enix. It was supposed to be released on February 2nd, but they ended up releasing it in April. Yeah, also, a demo came out in the February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I started playing the demo a couple days ago. It's cool. I've had a great time playing it, but I realized some stuff, honestly. And uh, I will mention them in a bit. First, let's uh, talk about Outriders. Let's see what kind of game Outriders is. Outriders is a third-person shooter mixed with elements from role-playing games. This game is single-player and also you can play with friends up to three players. You can create your custom character and choose from four classes. Each of them has unique abilities that the players can utilize. Trickster is a close-range class that's fast and can easily hit and run targets. Bend the law of space and time to appear out of nowhere, assassinate your enemies and return to safety in the blink of an eye. The Technomancer is a long-range support specialist that possesses the most different healing abilities of all four classes. It also utilizes a wide range of deadly contraptions. Pyromancer is a medium-range class that can control fire, cover frozen flames, incinerate entire squads and heal your own wounds as enemies fall to your inferno. Devastator is a close-range class that's built to stand your ground. Take point and defend your allies. Ground and foes alike will tremble as you pass. In the demo, I picked Trickster, and I think it's my favorite. It's just kind of fun when you can uh, freeze time and kill your enemies. You know. How about you, Tony? Which one's your favorite? Well, Pyromancer would be my favorite. Mm, Pyromancer. You know, it's fun. You can get all the kills. Yeah. yeah mm. That's a good one, actually. All of them are cool, but you need to know something before choosing your class. Once you pick it, there is no way back. You cannot switch it. So choose wisely. Okay. There are many different weapons in the game, shotgun, assault rifles, and pistols. One of the things that I like is the aiming. Aiming is just so easy. Uh, I'm not sure if they got like aiming assist or something though. Yeah, actually I realized the aiming situation. The aiming is just kind of easy, but um, hmm. apparently when you level up, your enemy is going to level up with you at the same yeah. time. So, I, um, realized that actually. I think the aiming would be more challenging once you level up. 
At a basic level, Outriders is a science fiction story set in the 22nd century. In this future, humanity is capable of long-distance spaceflight as well as various other technologically advanced undertakings. There are magical powers in the world of Outriders, but overall, it is presented as being realistic and recognizable. The opening hours of Outriders are more akin to Star Trek and Star Wars. It explains that Earth's livability has been eroded to the point that humanity must colonize a new planet if they are to survive. The planet Enoch is identified as the last best hope for survival, and two colony ships are dispatched. Only one survives the 83-year journey to Enoch. Upon arrival, a small group, including your player, is sent planet side. This story reminds me of the 100 when Sky Crew had to move to another planet, and they were on the way for like 100 years, which is a long time. Isn't yeah, it, it is. The Honor was my favorite show. I liked everything about it. Mm. In fact, I would not live like that. I, I don't have to be way overworking, and I don't have to be and listen to your bullshit. <laughs> huh. Well, I think this is the only thing we got in common, and this is not bullshit, Tony. I'm creating content. Yeah, I know we make good content, I just don't like you. <laughs> you know what? I don't give a shit. Let's get back to the topic. You know that I'm messing with you, right? Wait, are you? No, I totally mean it. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Jackass. Oh god, he's mad! Oh god! This group, including the player, aren't real outriders, and are instead mercenaries hired to replenish the rank following a fatal accident back on Earth. There is a tension between the Outriders and other groups within the colonization effort because of this. You meet different characters in the game and the brutal gameplay will twist yeah. everything together. It will be I one of those agree. games that makes you curious about what's happening next. When I was playing the demo every 10 minutes I was like, damn, what just happened? Oh my god, what's happening next? Oh god, okay. What the fuck? What's going on? Oh boy. <laughs> Tony, tell me about the gameplay. I've noticed some stuff and I had some difficulties while I was playing it. I'm wondering if you had any issues with it or not. Honestly, I've had a hard time playing it online, hmm. especially with the cross platform thing. I was trying to play with my friend who plays on PS4, oh. so it was just kind of annoying. Yeah, actually I heard about that and uh, apparently an update just came out a couple of days ago, I think last Friday. And uh, they fix a bunch of problems, including the including the server connection. Yeah, of course. You think there are a bunch of dumbasses like Citra Project? They really care about the game. <laughs> You're right. That would be a different story, though. But it's a good point, actually. Well, how long has it been since Cyberpunk 2077 mm, came out? Cyberpunk came out in December, which hmm. was from a month ago, I guess. And still, we have a bunch of problems. Yeah, Cyberpunk would be my biggest regret, and I mean, in my entire life, CD Project. Shame on you. I agree with you, Tony. Cyberpunk wasn't a good experience, but still I'm enjoying it so far. I'm still playing it. Okay, let's go back to Outriders gameplay. So, when I started playing it, I was stunned by the beautiful landscape and amazing artwork. Wow! Okay, Captain Tanner, shut up! Let me look. This is a great view. I love it. Ooh. Nice. Dear yeah. developers, bravo. You guys did a great job, yeah, seriously, seriously. I love fabulous. it, I love the artwork, I love everything, but the artwork is just amazing, I love it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, I could truly feel that vibe, you know, I was like, oh, hmm. I'm in another planet. Yeah, you're right, I totally got the same vibe, I know what you no, mean. No, you're too dumb to understand <laughs> this, huh? Tony, let's just stay focused and talk about Outriders, jackass. Oh my god, he's mad again, holy <laughs> shit. I just remembered one of the important things. The covering system is just kind of buggy. I was fighting with my enemies and um, I couldn't stay behind the cover for some reason. So basically if you play with mouse and keyboard, space is your default button to uh, stay behind the cover or go behind the cover. But for some reason I wasn't able to do that and I was pressing it 10 times and eventually it worked. And fight scenes are really crazy. You have 10 enemies in front of you shooting at you simultaneously and consistently. So, even one second counts in a battle. But it is really fun though. With those abilities, you don't need to stay behind the cover. But seriously, City Road Project should learn from uh, <laughs> people can fly. They suck. Seriously. <laughs> okay, let's move on and answer the last question. Is it worth it to buy Outriders? Mm. If you watched the last episode of the update, 
you know that I said honestly I didn't play the demo and I'm not planning on buying it but I changed my mind and decided to give it a shot although it was just a demo but I truly enjoyed the game I liked everything about it story gameplay having different classes exploring the planet Enoch everything yeah, was cool totally about the price you can buy Outriders for $59.99 on Steam yes 60 bucks is a lot of money but I'm just gonna compare this to Cyberpunk 2077 and by comparing I don't mean to compare these two games together it's, a, it's, it's just about the price I bought Cyberpunk 2077 for the same price you can do a lot of stuff uh, exploring Night City is just amazing but right now if I have 60 bucks and I get to pick one of these oh, okay. games I'll definitely pick Outriders I think I will it enjoy it more it. even though I love open world games but I recommend Play the demo first, it's 100% free and you can play long enough to make your decision. Is it worth it to buy Outriders? Okay, what's the answer? Ladies and gentlemen, it is 100% worth oh, it! Yeah! Yes, it is worth it! Oh. Approved by Professor Mo. As I said, Tony, you are in charge of your money, you but me. Professor said 100% worth it. Mm. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, drop a like right now if you found what you were looking for and tell your friends about this channel. And if you didn't like it, just give yeah, it to Yeah, also yourself. leave a comment down below. I wanna see what you guys think about our writers. And I want you guys to mention Professor Socks and Shout Tony, Tony. Is the best. Ha! Thanks again for watching this video. Peace out Professor Mo. And Tony, Professor Mo and Tony. I'll catch you later. Dude, I sorry I forgot.